and welcome to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. The other day, I came to an epiphany because I was like, okay, well, we need to do this, 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 and this. And I was, I was thinking about how long we've been doing this show. And I'm like, you know, when we first started, we just grabbed any old book off the shelf. And it didn't matter. And then in 2015, things got really good for most comic book YouTubers, and then it all fell to shit. So now it's just whoever's here is here, and that's the end of it. Yeah. But now it doesn't matter. It, well, it does in its own way because, like, sometimes we have to do like a like a a, a horse tranquilizer of a book to kind of like reinvigorate the channel. Uh -huh. And uh, sometimes I'll do like, eh, you know, I'll try something. Hey, how about this? How about Blue Devil or Martian Manhunter? <laughs> yeah, and the audience goes kind of like, fuck you, and yeah. that's that. Like, it's just no. You know, sometimes you can experiment, like Doctor Strange. He had a movie. Uh, well, we'll pair him with Spider Man. That did horribly. Really? Yeah, for no reason. Just, just. But you know, but that's not their fault, because <laughs> everything Doctor Strange did horribly. Mm. Like every comic book channel thought, well, obviously, it's the year 2017. And, and Marvel's just, still big. Right. And if I just ride the coattails of whatever Marvel puts out, I'll do fine. Wrong. Wrong. Spider Man made everybody think that was the that was still the case. Yeah. But, but that's because it's Spider Man. Just for Spider Man. Spider -Man. Only for Spider -Man. It yep. only works for Spider Man. Yep. If they but did another Iron Man movie, it would work for that. But it would, they're but they're to. never gonna do that. Yeah. So, so instead, we're in this weird kind of like nebula, not unlike the Marvel Cinematic Universe itself. Mm. Where we're just trying shit. And sometimes it fails and sometimes it doesn't fail. <laughs> So I was going down this list of like, well, we gotta do this and this and this, and each episode was like the, the biggest, most epic thing. But then I remembered I wanted to keep doing this show like for longer mm. than a year. So I'm like, sometimes I'm just gonna do this. This is one of those books. It's called Spider-Man Quality of Life. It's a book that I've thought about doing whenever I'm like not really ready to do the biggest book yet. I'm like, oh, I don't have time to do this. Maybe I'll do Quality of Life. Nah, <laughs> nah, I won't do, nah. But now we're going now to do time. it. Yay. Here we go. Spider-Man Quality of Life <laughs> is a book that I have considered to be the ugliest Spider-Man comic I've ever seen, ever, ever. Well, judging by the cover, I would agree. Yes. That looks like oh. a video game cover from like 2001. Well, you're not far off. <laughs> this book is from 2002, and it was made pretty much, it was made for a number of reasons, and I don't want to get too in the weeds about how ugly this book is. <laughs> it is ugly. <laughs> Never forget. And it may be it's the hideous. ugliest Spider-Man comic I've ever seen. And not because it's tonally unpleasant or because it depicts graphic imagery. It's just heinous because it's using early 2000s CG graphics. These covers indicate what the inside looks like too. Oh no. Oh, it doesn't lie to you. That's right. It oh, does no. not lie. Well, it, well no, in this it case, that's a bad thing. That's right. Because it is so bad. It is so bad. Now, yeah, but they thought it was so good. Well, and, and that's the thing is that, relatively speaking, it is so bad in a 20 year hindsight. But at the time, it was also horrible looking. <laughs> but it was also cutting edge CG. Right, yeah, it so may at have least bad. it was that. But you knew that like, well, this is the best CG we at least have. Right, money was spent. Mm -hmm. It looks as good as we can get it. And that's something. It's not a lot. It's not a lot, but, but, that, it, is but it is something. And I, I will not pretend because I know that the artist is active on YouTube and in the film industry and they're very, very proud of this comic book. Of this? Book. Yes. Oh. Because- It broke the mold, right? No. No. Oh. No, it did not. It broke no mold. <laughs> no molds were broken, but it broke their mold in terms of they wanted to draw a Spider-Man comic. And uh, they did. And then so never did, never did uh, ever okay. again. It's the one Spider-Man comic. It's their Spider-Man comic. And that's one more Spider-Man okay. comic than I'll ever make. Right. And if you made it, you would be proud of it too. I, I would hope. And you also wouldn't draw it. No. Well, that's true. Right? Because I'm not you an artist. You don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about yeah. that. But I should point out that there are a lot of things working against this book and the art is part of it. <laughs> because this is written by Greg Rucka with art by Scott Christian Sava. And Scott Christian Sava was pretty much sold a bill of goods. Sava wanted to do an all ages Spider-Man book and use uh. his new found CG skills to tell that story. 
Isn't every Spider-Man book an all-ages <laughs> Spider-Man book? Well, not the one where the, you know... Where the, the Green Goblin has sex with Gwen Stacy. Well, okay, no, no. Uh, but most of them. He wanted to make a children's book. I like, see. Like, there's a difference between all ages and ch- kid-oriented. Right. This is a Spider-Man comic book from 2002. Whether that means it's all ages or not is really in the eye of the beholder, but this book deals in themes of death and corruption and so it's a Spider-Man comic book. So there are normal right. themes in a comic, but it also has the rating PG on the front. It does. Yeah, Marvel was playing with the rating system at that point. Uh, <laughs> Sava wanted to make a kid's book starring Spider-Man. Like, that was the idea. Right. And a kid's book is a far cry from a contemporary incontinuity Spider-Man story. <laughs> yeah. So, what was going on with Spider-Man yeah, around well, 2000? Well, this is indicative of the regime that would change the face of Marvel Comics from this day forward. There were a few things going on. One, Joe Quesada, now, literally, as of 24 hours from the filming of this episode, left Marvel Comics. It's the end of an era, 20 plus year era. Joe Quesada's left. At this time, Joe Quesada's editor-in-chief of Marvel Comics, Bill Jemis is president. They're crafting the Ultimate Universe, the Max line, the Epic line. Trouble is coming. There's a lot of changes and new ideas coming to Marvel Comics. And Marvel Knights is obviously a big thing at this point. And so Marvel Comics is moving and shaking and the Spider-Man movie is right around the corner. Now, unbeknownst to all of that, Sava wants to do a kid's book starring Spider-Man. And he's working with some prominent creators like Marv Wolfman and Len Wein to craft that story. At this time, Wolfman and Ween and Sava are working in conjunction to give us like an all ages, like a straight up kids oriented Spider-Man story. Mm-hmm. And then- Are they doing that with any other title at the time? No. Well, okay. Spider-Man is Mickey Mouse of Marvel. They, they <laughs> need to get, Spider-Man can be, he can be optimized, anything, yeah. he can be contemporary, okay. he can be a kid. So this matter. wasn't a, a direction where they're like, oh, we're making the Max line and the Ultimate line and we're making the children's line as well. There's no line. It was just that they were, de- they were developing a story for yeah. Spider-Man that was for kids. And Wolfman created Blade and Marvel had made the Blade movie. And so Wolfman was suing Marvel for royalties on the Blade movie. Oh. And Marvel has this. That's fair. Yeah, and Marvel has this this, uh, practice, which has been documented over the decades, where if they're being sued by a creator, they don't hire them. Right. Uh, There's there's a period where Stan was suing Marvel, and for that reason, Marvel, like, distanced themselves from Stan Lee, who is, like, the goofy of the Marvel Universe. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. the, these are titans and major totemic yeah. characters in the you, Marvel Universe. You can't remove them from it. Right, like they were talking the other day about how they're like, well, uh, POW Entertainment sold the likeness rights of Stan Lee to Marvel. And people are like, that's abhorrent. And I'm like, he is a cartoon character owned by Marvel. <laughs> like Stan Lee is as synonymous with Marvel as Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, that, that doesn't surprise me. Them making like an animatronic Stan Lee at Disney World being like, it's a great, big, beautiful <laughs> tomorrow. Like, I'm not, that, that doesn't bother me. Right. Because Stan would be like, ha ha, bravo! Yeah, like, I live forever. Yeah, no, Stan has no problem with his visage being co-opted <laughs> by the company that he helped Found. Yeah, but make yeah. me the swinging stand from the 70s. Right, like there's all, yeah, make, make a slew of action figures and and, and may, put my, no, deep fake my face over <laughs> actors and stuff. Stand through the ages. Exactly. <laughs> because Wolfman wasn't being employed by Marvel, Wolfman's out and Marvel brought in Greg Rucka to rework the story and Ween was out. So now it's a new story because Rock is like, I don't want to adapt someone else's book. Right. I want to write my my own. My book. Yeah, exactly. So they just threw away everything. They threw everything away except for Sava because they wanted this like cutting edge (laughs) CG shit. And he knew how to do that. And he did it. Yeah. And actually Sava was a painter and moved into CG artistry. Oh. And by the way, parlayed a a, a very prominent and successful career in the film industry as a result. Like it was a good move for him. Right. But at the time, he just wanted to draw Spider-Man or portray Spider-Man through <laughs> computer-generated create imagery. Create Spider-Man. Yes. In and in fact, form. I believe there were five different artists who were all contracted to do some element, like the backgrounds and the characters and the background characters. And, you know, <laughs> Otherwise, it would just take too long. It would take too long. And they needed this out for the movie. 
This is oh. one of those things where that because and and by the way, there's some there's a bit of synergy here because after the movie hit it big in 2002, the next animated adaptation of Spider-Man was in the form of MTV's CG Spider-Man cartoon, which was set oh. in the same universe as that movie. I but don't tell Sam Raimi because he didn't acknowledge any of that. Uh, yeah. But it looks similar to this. Huh. At least Spider-Man does. Okay. Well, I mean, crappy CG Spider-Man is going to look... It's going to look like, like that. crappy CG Spider-Man. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Although Sava has said that, you know, his skills have obviously improved. It's been 20 years. So, were he to be given the opportunity to do this again, mm -hmm. it would look more like Into the Spider-Verse than it would look like uh. Toy Story 1 before a render. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing those images back into my head. Damn. That, well, they're about to be pummeled into your head uh. after you turn the page of this story, which don't forget is in continuity, despite the fact that Sava wants to tell an out of continuity, young adult Spider-Man story, and Greg Rucka wants to tell a Greg Rucka story. <laughs> Sava wants to walk away from the project. He's like, no, I don't want to do that. Right. And Wolfman reportedly said to him, dude, I've written enough Spider-Man. Like, this is your opportunity. Right. Don't, don't quit throw it away. for don't me. Don't quit it for me. Yeah. And so he, instead of doing this, like, all ages, oh, hoo, 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 did a story about how Monsanto, oh, I'm sorry, no, not Monsanto, <laughs> uh -huh. a, a legally distinctly different name of Monsanto, but still a company that owns, like, fertilizers and food and, <laughs> and, and controls many different aspects of American life, uh, and how that company's negligence gives the lizard's wife cancer. Oh my God. That's the story. The lizard's wife gets cancer, this poor woman. Yes. Jeez. Yeah. And, and, and not because- son. Not, not anything to do with- Lizard the Yes, <laughs> it's not because they know the lizard and nope. live with him. Nope, nope. Nope, unrelated. Unrelated, <laughs> they're <laughs> dumping and fertilizers, which, uh, and we'll get into it, but yeah, that's the story, he's like, does he turn his family into lizards to cure them? Okay, so like, <laughs> that's a loaded question because he <laughs> does turn them into lizards, but not until much later than this. And <laughs> there's a lot of things that happen in between, which I don't want to give away right away. All I'm saying is clearly he's not getting cancer, so the lizard must be doing well, something that's, right. That's the thing that I don't, that, that doesn't come up in this story, <laughs> which is that both his wife and son get cancer from the dumping. But he doesn't, and right. I think it's because something of his lizard DNA. Something about being a lizard. It's gotta be. It's gotta gotta be something him. about being a lizard. Well, it's probably like the fact that you know the lizard DNA is there to replicate uh, the you know, loss of a limb. The loss of a limb. Right. So maybe so it like regenerates his cells. Like yeah. every time he gets cancer, his cells, his lizard yeah, DNA. Yeah, he gets cancer, but his yeah, lizard sponges stuff yeah. like destroys it. <laughs> he just every time like an area gets cancer, he just drops it. Like it just, <laughs> it just falls off. Yeah, his body just. Shoves it aside. Yeah, like yeah. I thought there were scales. No, I was wrong. No, they're tumors. If it's inside, you know, maybe his lung gets cancer. He just coughs it exactly. up, and then a new one grows. Also, Rucka invents a brand new, totally awesome Spider-Man villain, which no one ever uses ever again. We have to guess at his power. Her power. Oh, oh we have to guess at her power. Yeah. Okay. You'll, uh, you'll never guess it because it's not. You'll never guess it. I'm sorry. It's uh, just damn. It's it, it's not even close. What whatever you think. What give me give me something. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> she can create. Nope. Damn. <laughs> she can see. No. Uh, everything she touches. Nope. <sighs> uh, her brain can. Uh, uh, damn it. <laughs> I'll just cut to the chase. She's a snake woman. Oh. Who shoots Uzi? She just is a snake woman. <laughs> yes. She is a descendant of a descendant of the snake god Set oh, from Conan. No. They don't oh. say that in the book. Marvel is like, what the fuck do I do with this character? How do I work her in? How do this I work her continuity? In? Yeah, and they're like, I don't know, she's a descendant of a descendant. Because <laughs> how, do, how do you explain the fact that you have a snake woman who is an assassin who wields twin Uzis? <laughs> It's like there's a hat on a hat here. What are you doing? But she needs range. But she needs range attack too. Her name couldn't just be a Medusa? No. No. Snake woman named Yith. Fuck you, I gotta say Yith all the time. Mm, Yith. 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 So anyway, this story opens. 
with a story that wasn't written by Greg Rucka. Because Axel Alonso is the editor of this book, and he knows that Sava, A, has never drawn a Spider-Man comic in his life, and B, doesn't want to tell a story about cancer and death. <laughs> so, report allegedly, Alonzo writes the first seven pages, which is just a standard Spider-Man story, mm. to give Sava a chance to just kind of have fun. And in that story, Spider-Man fights Doc Ock and beats him. Now, the problem with CG, uh -huh. besides the everything, Go ahead, Ethan. is that... Hurt your eyes like I did. When Doc Ock's jaw is broken, they break the jaw of the model. So it's like, uh, so it's flopping. But then you see it like later, and it's still broken. Like I get, you know, when you're drawing something panel to panel, you know, you want to illustrate someone's bro, but like if you render it and then that's the model. And it looks bad. And it looks bad, but it's just, his jaw is just flopping around. It just, I don't know, it, it actually well, it, adds an it, element of realism that I yeah, don't really want. because it didn't repair itself or anything. No, but I don't. Well, it's not like he broke his jaw. No, he did. <laughs> he broke his jaw. It's literally broken. You can see in the panel it is broken. And then in the next panel, it's exactly as broken as it was in the last panel. Like the consistency, thanks to the CG, right. makes it just that much more horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, is kind of a compliment. Yeah. Yeah. If you're forced to be a little more realistic, yeah. then... Uh, yeah, then sometimes those those little like things we take for granted... It's art for adversity. Yeah. I assume oh, it was yeah. one of those weird like, things yes. where like you're going too fast and the wind catches in your mouth and your cheeks just like puff out like... Grrr. No, that's just, that's just the unfortunate model of Doc Ock in this art. God, this is brutal. It is, it is a brutal book. Now, I've read it about three or four times and I can tell you that it reads like a pretty standard Spider-Man comic. And it's actually kind of funny how, I don't know, some people like to read comics where they look at the art and let the art tell the story and then read the panels afterwards. And some mm -hmm. people like to read the, 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 the speech bubbles first. Mm -hmm. uh, some people try to like absorb it do all, both. which is impossible. Yeah. That's what uh, I do. It's hard, It doesn't though. work it's, very well. It doesn't work very well. Yeah. Uh, with this... You have to read it through seven times. Yes. I, I read it through four or five times, and I will tell you that it, it reads better each time uh, because your eyes are just used to the art. But when you first see it, it's just, it is so jarring. Yeah, it yeah. slaps you in the it's face. really, really jarring. And it, why is Doc Ock out? How is Doc Ock this villain? He yeah. doesn't look like this. He's off model from the original comics. And he's it's, it's still in continuity, but they don't want to do that. Like, Sava's fighting against continuity because he wants to tell a story about Spider-Man. And Spider-Man takes pictures of the Bugle. But in this time, Spider-Man doesn't do that anymore. He works as a teacher. So there's just some hand-wavy line in there somewhere where he does both. Oh, well, no, I just take pictures sometimes for the bugle. <laughs> and it just so happens Lazy. that I'm really focused on it. Yeah. The... So he beats Doc Ock. Doc Ock looks like he is going to a My Chemical Romance concert <laughs> in the usual comics right now, uh, except for this, where he looks like he's from the 1960s. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, or the 70s. Yeah. Oh, those goggles are... They're rough. Something. Everything about it is just rough. It's like he's playing dodgeball professionally. It looks yeah. like um, <laughs> it looks like that magazine that you like with the toys. Toy Fair. Toy Fair. Yes. It reminds yeah. me of Toy Fair. Yeah, that's yeah the because they look like action figures. Yes, they do. Yeah. Well, and they are being used like action figures because we have the Spider-Man model. Yeah. So, so I'm just, just going like... to pose him. Yeah, and it's yeah. the same with Doc Ock. So I can and I can imagine that this was very and I as I understand it was very expensive. And very hard to do. Wow. What a waste. I mean, the processing power alone, my God. <laughs> the other yeah. thing that I like to point out is that the fourth issue is, for some reason, no reason, a little bigger than the other issues, just a little oh. taller. Just, of course yep. it is. Yeah. Just sure. <laughs> What's Doc Ock doing? Who cares? It's Doesn't not about matter. That. It's just a fun, unrelated adventure. Yeah, a little, little, little one off, just to have some fun. Acclimate yourself into the Spider Man world. Woo! Who am I? I'm Spider Man. Spider -Man. This is what I do. Yeah, this is what I do, baby. I punch, I break people's I jaws. I break regular men who have no augmented strength's jaws. And then and then suffocate them with my webs. You know what this looks like? Reboot! Yeah. This it does look just, like Reboot. Yeah, right? Yeah. It looks as shitty as Reboot. Hey, re <laughs> because yeah, of the yeah. models. The thing is, Reboot is, in the context of Reboot... Right, those look like the way they should. They're like, yeah, okay. Because they're on a computer. Yeah, but I yeah, know... But what's this comic excuse? also like... None. What, seven years before this? Yeah. Reboot is older than this. Yes. Eh, no, Reboot was like 96. So it's only like three or four years younger. <laughs> it's still... 
If that's an eternity in digital in, art. In digital art? <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, if they waited a year, 10 years, five years, it would look exponentially better. So we just got through doing this little fun romp, Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock, classic Spider-Man adventure. Then we cut to Sloan Kettering, where uh, Dr. Kurt Connors' wife Martha is uh, getting an MRI, and they find the cancer is in her spine. Ooh. Good heavens. It's not a good one. <laughs> it's just... We, we can remove that, right? Nope. No. And it's spreading. So it's like, yeah, no. Uh, Spider-Man goes to the uh, Daily Bugle, Peter Parker. He tries to sell his pictures to Jojo Jameson. Jojo Jameson gives some horrible excuse as to why he can't buy it. I believe it's because Spider-Man takes a fucking selfie with an SLR and Jameson will refuse to accept that it's a real picture. And then he like muses to, to Robbie about how Jonah's making up all kinds of excuses not to take his pictures at this point. Like, oh, he's even, he's even accusing me of plagiarism. And I'm like, that's kind of harsh. <laughs> like, usually Jonah accuses Peter of being lazy yeah. or of him being like repetitious, but like plagiarism? Yeah, oh, uh, you face these photos. Right, it? like, whoa. Like, Whoa, no. what? Now you're calling in to, to question my integrity as an artist. Yeah, as I'm a an photographer. Asshole. Like, well, that's much worse than just being a, a skin flint, of just being like shortchanging. Yeah, is, well, is I'm it a possible person. that these are actual programs that the carrot that the artist is using? What do you mean? Well, the whole idea is that Jameson's being like, you had to Photoshop this. This can't be real. <laughs> oh, they're just, it's, it's so play, good looking. It's a play on this. <laughs> that that's fair. Yeah, I think it might be. I know that Rucka at the time said that uh, CG art sucked. Oh. And then was like, huh. but, 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 but. But our... Sava is slowly changing my mind. <laughs> and I think it was a situation where it's like, Sava doesn't want to do this comic. Slowly. I think Real Sava slowly. doesn't want to do this comic book, but he's like, this is my first, this is my only chance. Right. And Rucka's like, I could really use the gig. Mm. I'm doing Spider-Man right now. And I don't want it to look like this. But I also need the gig. Right, so... But maybe they'll fine. remember it for the words and not how it looks. <laughs> nope. Sorry. <laughs> the only reason this book is remembered is because, number one, some continuity shifting stuff actually takes place in this book, so oh it actually God. matters, which is like... That's I, a shame. I, I gotta give it to Marvel, though. Like, th there's some cojones on you, Marvel, for being <laughs> like, no, make it matter. Make that experiment matter. Yeah, make it indispensable. Ugh. So anyway, Pete goes to Robbie. Uh, Robbie says that uh, there's a demonstration going on at the Monano building. It's, 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 it's not Monsanto. It's there's not even unrelated. a similarity between yeah, the no two. There's no S in there. It's completely different. There's no T. There's no T. There's no S. Forget about it. So uh, Peter goes to the demonstration. The CEO of Monano, <laughs> Arliss, is talking about the those those pathetic protesters in the streets and he's like they're ants down there these peons these plebes they don't know that I, I provide for them i mean i own all the food and i make it and i make it and i give it to them and they buy it from me and who cares if some of it's like poison or is ruining the environment uh, he's got his assassin yith here oh. uh, well, she doesn't look like a snake no because she's wearing a long dress how long is that dress? Is it 20 feet? It doesn't no, look long enough. No, the, she coils the, 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 the snake tail. It and fits then, under guess, that dress? And then bounces around, does I she, assume. Like, does she coil her tail into like individual limbs I mean, that it looks like she's walking? Thankfully, this is, this is an animation, so we can't see her move. No, she just glides effortlessly. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Oh, like a woman does. Yeah, Naturally, exactly. yeah. Mm -hmm. And she, it doesn't hurt that she's not bad to look at. Although everything in this book is yeah. hard to look at. Well, so. she is impossible. Uh, why couldn't narrows? you be a reverse That's snake a woman upsetting. with the snake on top and the woman parts on the bottom? <laughs> Gross. It's, it, she is meant to be hot. Yeah. Because uh, Spider-Man finds her so hot. Right. And I'm like... Does he? Yeah. Yeah, he's so distracted. Well, little do you know that snakes and spiders actually share a love. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. That's true. I it think snakes eat spiders. It looks like they made her similar in design to a regular character. Yes. But when you render that in CG, in three dimensions, it makes her look like freakishly thin. Yes. Like, oh yeah. Like Well, she's also one of the only characters who shows their midriff. Mm. You know, usually you get away with it because the, everyone's character model has clothing on it. Right. You know? And you assume that they're a human being. Right, close enough, like Spider-Man is the closest thing to a naked person we get in the book, and he right. looks ridiculous too. Right. 
you know, he probably has the same proportions as her. Yeah. And she's like head of security or she's like a, the idea is he has a head of security, but he also hired Yith because he knows that Kurt Connors is the lizard, which is not public knowledge except when it is. And well, he's so rich and powerful, he knows these things. He's able to procure these kinds of information. And he knows that his wife got cancer from... Well, because the Connors are suing him. Oh, uh, okay. So he went, I assume, and we have to read between the lines. Right. Uh, but he investigated he Connors, discovered yeah. he's the lizard, and then hired Yith as security to protect him from Connors, because if Martha dies, then the lizard's going to try and kill me. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that, I mean, it's a pretty solid plan. Okay, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that makes sense. He also explains why he definitely is culpable and why he's a scumbag we should not sympathize with. Because <laughs> he talks about this special this special seed that they developed, which is coded. The seed mm -hmm. is coded so that it can grow anywhere in the most hostile conditions. In lava. <laughs> yeah, in lava, in sand. It also releases a chemical into the soil and you need Monano fertilizer to unlock that chemical. And you need to keep using it. Otherwise, it will turn the soil bad. <laughs> ah, that is so evil. I'm like, that's, so Skeletor invented this? <laughs> like someone who is just so, so unabashedly I mean, like, yeah. Arliss is evil. He is yeah. pure evil and he's unrepentant and unsympathetic and he's just, he is a, he, he is so cartoonishly evil, he does, he belongs in a child's comic book right. made with CG graphics. He belongs in a Captain Planet book. Yes. Yes. He is like, yep. he, his, his name should be Loot and Plunder. <laughs> or yeah. Duke Nukem. Yeah, if you don't buy from me, I will kill... It will kill your, your soil. ...your crops. Yeah. And yeah. starve millions. Right, like, what? Billions! Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay. So he explains <laughs> for this. For profit, Sal. Right. Yeah, but. For the almighty dollar. Right, yeah. So he explains this to Yith. Mm -hmm. you know, she's, she's like, like whatever. She I'm evil, I don't care. Well, she's like, I am a mercenary. Right. Like, I, I don't care about what you're doing. I just want my money. Yeah. Where's mine? And she seems to enjoy being a sexy snake woman. Because <laughs> she's always like, yeah, ha, ooh. And I'm like, big time. <laughs> So you hear a baby rattle? No, that's just me. That's just my butt. Lizard's upset. His son Billy is upset. Martha's trying to make plans in case it doesn't work out. They have to do experimental surgery on her, and there's not a guarantee that she's going to make it out of the surgery, much less out of the cancer that they're going to do surgery. Oh on. my god! I yeah. know. Wow. And Kurt is really concerned because right now all he wants is just because he's being the lizard doesn't pay the bills, so uh, <laughs> he needs at least. Manano to do the right thing and pay the hospital bills, if not right. restitution, you know, for life-altering diseases. Right. So Manano, of course, stonewalling him, blocking it, even though they are wallowing in their guilt. Right. Or at least Arliss is. Uh, but Billy is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's not guilty about it. He's just saying how he did it. No, he's he is guilty, but <laughs> feels none. Right. So Billy's sad, you know, but like, he's whoa, also... whoa, whoa. I didn't design those crops to give people cancer. Right, exactly. I designed crops to poison their soil. Right. There was... That's it... entirely different. But they I also... am not responsible. They refer to the fact that, like, the plant would be dumping stuff in the river that was adjacent to their house down in Florida. Mm. And that's really where the cancer came from. Right. Uh, are there thousands of people who right. got cancer who are suing Probably, them? but we don't care about any of them. None uh, of them are the lizard. Yeah, and they all stayed in Florida. Yeah, none right. of them know Spider-Man. So, Billy's sad. Kurt's upset. Billy's gonna go uh, back to the hospital, talk to his mom, because they're staying in a hotel because they don't live here anymore. Uh, you know, Connors calls his, friend, his lawyer. His lawyer won't touch it. His lawyer's like, look, we're gonna lose. They're too big. Yeah, you can't go They're against Manano. Yeah, <laughs> Manano's too Nobody big. Nobody can take down Manano. Exactly. I'm sorry, we just, we can't beat them in court. And that's what triggers him into being the lizard again. Oh. So Spider-Man goes, so like, I know how to beat them. Well, it, As a lizard lawyer. He's not actively choosing to be lizard. That's like a, a, a stress response. Right. When you stress him out too much, it becomes he a lizard. He becomes lizard, yeah. He's so, like the Hulk or something. Yeah, yeah. so Peter goes to the, the protest clandestinely, mm. and uh, then he sees a lizard on the side of the building. It's pretty easy to see when the building has no windows. 
More texture. <laughs> Look at this blank texture. <laughs> and that one spot of green. Well, that really stands Whoa. out. He also sees Yith like going into the same building. And yet his spider sense doesn't go off. It does go off. That's what triggers it. Oh. oh. Yeah. Why is she wolf. wearing like a floor length gown? Because she's so hot, she's dangerous. That's right. He's, he finds her hot. He says, think of Mary Jane over and over again. That's the only real like major addressing of Mary Jane in this book. Oh, Cold geez. showers. Cold showers. Exactly. So Lizard attacks Arliss in his office. Uh, he says a bunch of ridiculous things that I don't want to repeat because they're so stupid. <laughs> he says, no words and rotting her. Okay. Like the cancer's the rotting cancer's, her. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, all right. I, oh, no, so, no. Pull it back. Yeah, please, just. Plus, look at that lizard, though. He's so cool. It looks better than the rest. Yes, you can tell. Because it's they an put animal, texture I guess. On it. Yeah. 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 Well, you can tell, like, where the where the joy is being derived. Yeah. Spider-Man, lizard. lizard. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. <laughs> the end. <laughs> So, yeah, Spider-Man doesn't look horrible. No. Everything else does. Spider-Man looks pretty much identical to his portrayal in the MTV cartoon. Yeah. Like, it looks just as good or bad depending on your understanding of early 2000s computer graphics. Right. You know, when they don't have to do backgrounds, like, that panel doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look horrible, That's no. okay. It just requires someone's body to be filling the entire frame. It's true. So, uh, Yith takes the elevator and then arrives in Arliss's office and then pulls out her signature twin Uzis. <laughs> From where? F f underneath the dress. Oh. Yeah, the tail so that dress was, was form-fitting. There was... Yeah, her prehensile oh. tail was holding both of them. Wrapped them up. Wrapped them up. Because yeah. that, 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 that dress. Because it's that dress. That really thin dress that can't cover very much bulk up. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Here, you can hold these. Oh, great. Well, Spider-Man, of course, has to spring into action and save the day. Yith is going to kill the lizard. Oh, no. Oh, no, not the lizard. She doesn't at all. Spider-Man arrives. The lizard uh, and Yith are entangled in a fight. Uh, Yith shoots her twin Uzis, which, of course, go through the windows. Uh, lizard escapes. He just jumps through the window and leaves. Spider-Man turns to Yith and goes, you know you're a snake, right? <laughs> oh, am I? Oh my God, I never looked down this entire time. She, she, she says for the second time to as many characters, call me Yith. Because Greg Rock was like, this Yith person is going to catch on. Right. They're definitely not they're going they're to they're. get two cameos in as many issues spaced out over five to ten years with no speaking role. <laughs> That's definitely not going to happen to Yith. No, no, Yith will be a major villain. Definitely. So... Spider-Man uncharacteristically sticks around and hangs out with Arliss and Yith, and he's just like, what? so, okay, what's Lizard want with you anyway? And Arliss like, how dare you insinuate that anything has to do with me and the Lizard? He's just a crazy Lizard who yeah. wanted to kill me. He's a bad guy. Right. You go stop him. You do what you're supposed to do. Exactly. Oh, I'm, I'm not victim. paying you to stand here. Yeah. I'm not, not you're pay paying me at all. <sighs> you're paying her. The Lizard oh. person. Or well, the snake person. Get out anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I'll pay her to make you get out if you don't get out. Exactly. Yeah. So, Spider-Man leaves. Yith finds him hot. There's this weird, oh. like, undercurrent of attraction between Spider-Man and Yith. Why? Be spiders and snakes, man! Because of Ben's codicil about how spiders and snakes have some kind of secret phyelic love affair. <laughs> love affair. Oh. It's because they're both creepy. I don't get it. But Spider-Man leaves because he knows that Arliss... He sees the, the the orgy of evidence on Arliss's desk that was mm. drummed up from the commotion. He sees that Arliss knows that Kirk Connors and Lizard are the same person. Does he, does he take uh, a picture real quick? He does not. He just remembers. He takes pictures with his mind. Uh, it's called a memory. <laughs> and he leaves. And uh, Steve, one of Arliss's... <sighs> lackeys? No, like Employees? business partners. Like he oh. works in the firm... Oh. Steve's there, and he's like, "Hey, man! Like, is he like Wozniak to to his uh, to to, <laughs> to Arliss's yeah. jobs? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Because he's like a little bit bigger, yeah, he and is. he looks like nerdier, well, and he's more sympathetic. Oh, because yeah. Steve's like Arliss, dude, just settle with the Connors. Like, I I, I feel like we're probably. I think we probably gave that woman cancer. Yes. And well, Arliss is like, who knows? And I mean, like, we can afford it. Yeah. Right. That's the thing. Is like we're. We probably gave her cancer. No one says we definitely did. Right, right. I personally dumped 
cancer chemicals into the river by their house. Yeah, I designed them to cause cancer, yeah, and no. they, in fact, did. They both are just like, I don't know. We probably did. And Spider-Man does the exact same thing where he's like, he probably gave him cancer. No one wants to go out on a limb and say he definitely gave him cancer. Right. But we should settle anyway because it's the right thing to do. We can afford it. Arliss doesn't want to open himself up to that kind of scrutiny because if he pays him, right. he's got to pay, gotta all, pay them. all of them. Because if I am Good responsible, point. then there's going to be a lot more cancer coming up. Right. And I, will, I don't want to start setting a precedent. Right. And what about my responsibility to the shareholders? That's what he said. He, hey, whoa, yeah. you're like reading a book. <laughs> well, I, well, yeah, I've read a book before. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> I've seen a commercial. Yeah. So he handles security hiring, by the way. Steve. Steve does? Yeah. Oh, oh. so he approved of Yith. No, he does not. He's oh. like, who is this? I didn't hire her. I Who's didn't hire Hith. Yith. Yith. <laughs> Hearth. <laughs> but he also, he thinks that Yith is kind of a smoking gun. Like, okay, you're hiring super mercenaries yeah. to protect yourself against super aggressors. You're definitely culpable. Like, we should do something about this. Yeah. Arliss is like, You're well, a snake that's a lady. great connection. I think we've crossed a line here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't take a step a back. Woman. No, he does. No. Oh, he does? Okay. Yeah. Well, oh. I, I, at this point, I believe she's still wear, she's wearing her she's dress. She's wearing the dress. So Spider-Man she... knows that she's a snake woman, but I don't believe Steve, Steve does. Right. But she also is wear, holding, like, two freaking two, yeah. Uzis, and she has sunglasses like, and doors. Where'd you even get those? You can't carry those. Yeah. Private well, security, man. Well, those uh, are fully least, automatic weapons. Uh, That's not allowed yeah, in uh, 2002. No. Every um, every aspect of her costume, though, does make sense. Like, she needs the dress to cover up the snake tail. Sunglasses cover up her snake eyes. Oh, right. She and uh, she just closes her mouth to hide the fangs. Yeah. And she needs to wear a bra with no shirt. Right. Um, well, because that's hot. Right. Because because <laughs> Nagas are sexy. Right. So Spider-Man goes to the Daily Bugle to try and, uh, you know, parlay favor with Jonah, who yells at him for not being able to get any pictures of the Spider-Man fight. And he's like, oh, no. Oh, right. The private Spider-Man fight in Manano's office? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> that no one could possibly have gotten pictures of? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. So Spider-Man talks to Ben Urich. Ben Urich explains Manano, how they make food. They're a huge corporation. They also are kind of like tangentially linked to cancer cases. And so Spider-Man sticks around to use Urich's computer and essentially go like, yeah, okay, there's the evidence I need. Not the evidence that Connors has cancer, but more that like, there, there's a lot of a lot of people got conjecture cancer near, about Manano's yeah. uh, carelessness when it comes right. to their chemicals. Sounds like uh, Spider-Man needs to hire Julia Roberts to come in and- <laughs> Get some Aaron Brockovich up yeah. in this bit. That, and uh, this wouldn't be too far off from that movie. And won an Academy Award. As far as there's not a joke about it in here. Me too. So anyway, uh, Billy and Kurt are in the commissary uh, in the Sloan Kettering uh, talking about Martha and how sad th this is. She's going to go under the knife very soon. Mm. Again, no guarantees on the surgery. Right. Uh, so they're, they're having what this back and forth. What is surgery? It, it, spinal surgery. Oh, spinal surgery. They yeah. said there could be complications. They're going to give her a whole new spine. From the spinal oh, they're not surgery. Gonna, no, they're not doing super spine stuff. They're just... I believe the tumor's on her spine, and so they're gonna okay. go in. Is she gonna end oh, okay. up with Doc Ock arms? No. Uh, Remember, we gotta make her into a lizard in a couple of years. Right. So okay. Billy yeah, collapses. Yeah, but a Doc Ock lizard. I know. That'd be a cool idea, I guess. Yeah, uh, just a lizard with four more robotic arms. That yeah. actually sucks. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. You know, a lot of ideas are spawned on this couch. They ain't all gonna be winners. <laughs> so Billy collapses. Oh no, he also has cancer. Oh no. Does does Connors freak out and turn into the lizard? He does not. Which shows, what? you know, that Billy. I guess I don't care about you control. as much. It, we 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 know he doesn't. In the future, he takes him to the same hospital. Oh, There's... thank God we're in Sloan Kettering. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm literally in the same building. Uh, but they're like, hey, listen, he's presenting the same way that Martha did in the beginning, oh. so. We should probably look at you too, Dr. Connors. Nope, we don't have to, because I'm a lizard man. They never bring it up. They never go like, it's really suspicious that everyone in your family has the exact same cancer, except, except for, for you. you. Yeah, what did you What do? are you doing differently? Yeah. What are you Tell giving Tell me everything. Them? Right, yeah. I need to know everything about your everything. life, because yeah. the one thing that's different is, could be the one thing that could save it's your true. wife. I'm a lizard man. I did not see that what? coming. No, that does not help. Okay, but you are under arrest. Okay, For well. being the lizard. Spider-Man hacks into uh, Arliss's computer. He looks into it. He finds some old emails between uh, Holder, Stephen Holder, mm. and uh, Arliss, and how he's basically saying like, yeah. Like, yeah, we gave him cancer. Well, Holder is basically like, he has this whole document, like it, recommend settlement, like pro possible culpability, that kind of thing. Yep. Spider-Man copies it onto a three and a half inch <laughs> floppy disk. Nice. 
And uh, while he is escaping from the building, he is met on the roof by Yith. Oh no. And she's like, excuse me, you're, you're stealing something that doesn't belong to you. I'm not, she's not being paid to fight Spider-Man. Right. So she's not gonna engage Spider-Man. Oh. Isn't she hired to be a bodyguard? Yes. Yeah. He's, well, he's, he's stealing company information. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's she, why she's not really. She's, she's only, there to protect the life of her. Of her employer. Of her employer, not only to if protect a his secret. But only if a lizard attacks. Right. Is Specifically she? against the lizard threat, exactly. not against not spite, saboteurs not, yeah, not or be, we, corporate spies. espionage. Yeah, that's regular security stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe there's a bonus in it for her. Well, well, there is because he says, "What do you like? Why do you work for a man like RLS? That kind of thing. Blah blah blah." And she's like, "Listen, I'm like, I'm just here to clean up the mess. Like that's my job. I clean up messes." Mm. And the mess is, I also got this snake tail because of Arliss. <laughs> no, it's not like, yeah, this is a, this is a, this is a long con. Oh my God. I've been mutated. I'm not, I'm not supposed to be a snake woman. <laughs> I, I made up revenge. this whole thing about set <laughs> and to my lineage. To obscure the fact that, that I'm literally that a human Monsano woman that was been, yeah. whatever the fuck it's called. Manano. Manano. Mananoed. Yeah, yeah, caused it, and I therefore have a grudge right. and reason to assassinate exactly. him. And the lizard is just gonna cost me my vengeance. Right. So I will take his money, and I will protect him from the lizard, but only so I can kill him. Nope, that's not the story. She is just a new character who is a Naga who, who fights Spider-Man. for no Spider reason is a lizard, or a, a, a snake. snake. No, a the, different the reason reptile. is because Greg Ruck has got a fetish about him, and we're gonna snake people. Allegedly. Allegedly. So Spider-Man, you have like this little back and forth. Spider-Man like, ex you know, shows off his awesome acrobatics, avoids some bullets. Uh, she punctures the, the disc, stuff. yeah, with with her tail. Oh, I know. But it's, it's a, a sharp tail. It's a three and a half inch floppy, so it's fine. Oh, it goes right through the middle. Yeah. Spinny part, the uh -huh. hole in the center. Yeah. That's fortunate. I know. I think that would still destroy the disc, but uh, well, there's a mechanism in the in middle that, that moves, engages it to spin it. Yeah, so yeah, without it, what are you gonna do? You, you can't I re-spool you could, it. You could give it to somebody who could fix it, maybe. And that's his plan. Oh, okay. But they have this back yeah. and forth. He'll get a uh, microchip on it. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me just find the Punisher, and then I'll get microchip, and he'll do it for I'll me. I'll just ask microchip nicely, and yeah. he'll definitely do it. Yeah, why not? It's kind of hard. Microchip. To do. Have you ever seen a hot naga before? <laughs> I can show you one if you on the internet. this disc for me. Uh, yeah, I can see everything. Uh, real I'm life, on the man. Internet. Oh my god. <laughs> I like the I, I like the, the this new headcanon that microchip is way into half snake women. <laughs> that tracks. Well, who wouldn't be? Look at her. <laughs> I mean, come on, right? We all are. Spider Man is, obviously. So uh, they have this back and forth where they're talking about like, why do you work for him? You know, he's definitely re probably responsible for <laughs> Martha and Billy's cancer. Right. You know, she's like, eh, and he's uh, just like, come on, don't you care? She's like, no. She's like, no. She's like, hmm. They're oh. not paying me to care. Mm. But we see this moment, and it's a moment that you would miss because there's no subtlety in their facial expressions because of the nature of the art. But uh, if you watch, if you read it three or four times, you ascribe meaning and, 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 <laughs> and, and depth. So there's a moment of contemplation on her face before she finally decides they're not paying me to do it. And, uh, you know, I gotta go. I guess I got places to be. Right. Spider Man's like, look, maybe I'll take this to Connors, maybe I'll take it to the Daily Bugle. You know, maybe they yeah, can't Joe win. Yeah, would love this. Right. Well, they can't, like, win their case necessarily because it's inadmissible, but maybe right. the Daily Bugle can. But I can destroy the company yes. by uh, but publicly revealing it. Maybe they'll be accused guilty in the court of public opinion. Yes. Right. Exactly. Which is already bad because there's protesters outside. Yeah. They have a, he has a great line. Mm -hmm. He says, see you in the papers. And she says, print is dead. <sighs> Which is so, very 2002. Oh, yeah. Well, it's also hilarious because, like, they're not drawing this. It's right. all in the computers. Yeah. Oh. oh. I mean, it's still being printed, though. It is still no, being it printed. No, it is printed, though. Although, I, I bet if you got the digital version of this, it would look crisper. Mm. It would probably look better. Probably. Hopefully. So, Spider-Man intercepts Doc Connors in his hotel room, and he gives him the disc. Connors like, this isn't gonna help me, man. There's a big hole in it. No, he doesn't even... You fucking idiot. He doesn't even refer to the hole. <laughs> oh. He's just like, it's inadmissible. Like, mm. they won't use it. Yeah, a three and a half inch floppy. It. Yeah. We use CDs now, man. Right, it's this 2002. 2002. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, but those CDRWs are really hard to find right now. <laughs> I used a CD minus R. So, uh, <laughs> wait, which one? The one that copies over 70 minutes or the one oh. that copies over 700 megabytes? Well, I use the CD minus R so they oh. can be rewritable. <laughs> CD plus R is closed end end. It used you know, to be real hard to, so to do hard. anything. Hopefully, you don't even understand. At least it's not a zip disk. <laughs> Well, great, now I gotta get somebody who owns a zip disk reader, which they <laughs> definitely had at the Daily Bugle. And the library. Oh, yeah. And the library. The Daily Bugle definitely, because a lot of publications use zip disks because they were higher capacity. 
<laughs> anyway. So, so uh, Yith is showed up for work at Arliss's office. She explains to him that Spider-Man was in her in the office earlier that night. Arliss is pissed. He's like, why didn't you kill him? Why don't you? She's, she's like, he didn't. He's he, Spider-Man. He, she's, he can't he, just kill he him. He didn't take anything. She's oh. lying oh, to Arliss. Lying. Oh. And he yells at her. He's like, I don't care if he took anything. Fucking kill him. He's like, you don't know. You don't, you, don't, you don't know. And she uses her awesome sexy tail. I mean, her awesomely powerful tail uh -huh. and pushes him in the chest. Uh -huh. At first, I thought she impaled him through the abdomen uh -huh. because of how it looks. Because it looks like she definitely did. And then he clutches him. it afterwards. She impaled a disc. Right. Clearly, her tail needs to be sharp yeah. enough to be able to break through a three and a half inch floppy. It's not like you're holding it against something. No. You hold it in the air and it punctures it. Mm -hmm. That's sharp. Yeah. Well, well, it is one big muscle, so it is strong. You know, it's like he, it's he, like he, the five finger punch. You know. He grips his like abdomen like right. it was impaled. Yeah. But it but it was. But it was not. She just pushes him against the wall. She's like, "Don't talk to me like that. Mm. I'm a snake woman. <laughs> I'm Yith." I will dad, fucking eat you. Yeah. So, I mean, if I do eat you, A, I won't be able to wear this midriff for a while, and oh yeah. B, I'm gonna be digesting for probably like uh, two I'm months. I'm gonna have to lie down for a while. <laughs> I'll just find a. Do you have a heat lamp? I think I should <laughs> go, go to the, the Central Park and just like crawl into a hot rock. <laughs> anyway, so she says, if you want me to deal with Spider-Man, like uh, you're gonna have to change the nature of the contract. Mm. Then there's Superman in it, you know? Right. So he's just like, no, I'm not gonna pay you more for Spider-Man. Just, just kill Connors. Right. He's the problem. But Connors is also a superhuman. Yeah, but it's yeah, only but one. He, yeah, but it's one, and it's a lizard. And yeah, he's way crappier than Spider-Man. Yeah, he's more he's more unfocused. You know, Spider-Man explains, look, man, like, I'll take the disc, I'll take it to the Daily Bugle, and he's like, well, so like that'll hurt them, but it won't get me any money. It won't save my wife. She's right. dying, man. Like, okay, well, let's say we even succeed. Like, all that will happen is we'll pay for funerals. Like, I'm my wife is dying. I want revenge. Ah, I'm lizard. Yeah, well, if we destroy the company, that will help you get revenge. Right, yeah, but like, I yeah, want... Yeah, but not enough. No, I want blood revenge. Yeah. So he turns into the lizard. He's, he's stressed out, though. He doesn't yeah. actively choose to be the lizard. Ah. I also love that we, we do this, like, here's the evolution oh, of his yeah. transformation, but we also use the exact same facial expression twice. <laughs> it's like, well, that doesn't really, that doesn't really, oh. that doesn't really sell. You know how long frozen. it would take for me to make a new face? Oh, my God. Yeah, each one of these faces took, like, three hours. Yeah, it's just mouse clicks. Oh, God. Anyway, so Lizard smashes Spider-Man through the window. They, they, they tumble like lovers towards the street. Uh, they, <laughs> they didn't think this through, Lizard. No, they, they do battle along the wall, not unlike Spider-Man and Doc Ock and Spider-Man yeah. 2. It's pretty fun. Uh, you know, they eventually like land on the ground, but slower because they like clung to the wall and had to fight like vertically. Uh, and then as they're battling, Lizard gets shot through the shoulder by an Uzi. Oh. It's Yith. Oh no. She's like, Spider-Man run, I've gotta beat him because now she's gonna kill Lizard to fulfill his, her contractual oh, obligation. She's really into Spider-Man at this point. She is, yeah. Huh, okay. So she fights Lizard, she grabs his his throat with uh, with her with prehensile the tail. tail yeah. Oh. And she's, she starts choking out Lizard. Spider-Man's like, hey man, like stop, like leave him alone. And she's like, you, you go, well, you're done. I, I'm being paid to kill Lizard. You fight Lizard sometimes. Yeah, if I win, I'm doing you a favor. Yeah, I'm doing you a favor. And he's like, no, please, like, don't do this. And she goes, you don't understand. This is what I get paid for. I get paid to choke people with my tail. I get paid to choke tail. people out with my tail. Yeah, I know. I'm telling you not to. Usually, Usually it's a sex thing, <laughs> but now like I'm masturbating it. behind a mailbox and watching. I was, was, was going like, say yeah. microchip was. <laughs> <laughs> microchip and Arliss are in the... Well, why, would, why would Arliss hire her unless he had a thing for snake women? Right. There's yeah. a million and nine mercenaries in the Marvel Universe that he could hire. Why did he pick the sexy snake woman? It, Fetishes. Is she just like a just a different black cat? That's what I'm getting from this. I mean, yeah. She's like um, she's into Spider-Man. She's kind of a bad guy, but she's not fully evil. Yes, that's right. And she's super hot. She's super hot. Yeah. I mean, if you find half snake women hot. And she's got animal theme going on. Right. So animal theme. Yeah. Different animal, but yeah. But Felicia doesn't actually look like a cat. No. Spider-Man hits her in the face with a manhole cover attached to his webbing. She's like, that hurt. And he's like, it's going to hurt more if you don't let him go. And she's like, all right, fine. Oh, so geez. she lets him go. A lizard gets gets away. He runs up the side of the building. Lizard's he's like, like, great, you let him get don't away. Don't stop, I was enjoying it. <laughs> he's like, yeah, now, come on. <laughs> they just watch him scale the building. And then she turns to him and she's like, well, aren't you going to go after him? <laughs> I probably should, shouldn't I? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? So... Like, well, I don't know. Your employer's kind of evil. Right. Well, and if and Lizard killed him, that would, like, really help a lot. Well, and she doesn't. She's he, And she's like, well, I, I, at least I know where he's going. He's going to go straight to the Manano building. And he's like, no, she, he's not. Don't you see the time? 
Like six minutes ago, his wife went under the knife. Oh, he's going to see her. He's going to go see her. So he transforms so back into Doc to... Connors at the Snow and Kenner ring. I, I don't need with a to bullet. I know exactly where he's going. And then like, no, he went and killed Arliss. <laughs> First. Oh shit. And then went. I was wrong. Yeah. No, Oops. she's gonna be Oops. under for hours. Yeah. I got time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Well, it turns out Spider-Man actually was right, and so yeah. uh, Doc Connors, uh, naked as a jaybird, uh, goes into a uh, like a closet, and grabs some clothes, and puts them on, and then goes to see his uh, go, goes see his son actually first. Oh. So he's his wife is under the knife. He's not gonna right. be able to watch the. Right. Surgery, There's so. no point. Yeah. He goes to see his son. His son's talking to Steve. Oh. Holding. From oh, he's got Is he upset? He's like, "What are you talking to my son for?" Yes, he, yeah. that's exactly what happens. What are you doing here? I know what Arles is up to, and I think you are owed, oh, you know, compensation. Right. Meanwhile, Arles is in his office yelling at Yith. She's like, "Hey, what did I tell you about yelling at me? I'll kill you with my snake tail." <laughs> Oh, I'll actually uh, stab you this time. Right, right. What am I paying you for? You're not doing anything. I'm throwing money <laughs> into fire is. right now. That's exactly right. <laughs> She's like, like well, I got a feel for him a little bit. She should really quit if she's not going to do the job. I know. But then he entices her by being like, well, what about this? What if I add another person to the hit list? My business partner, Stephen Holding, is being a, being oh. a rat. You know, he's, he's going he's against He's way easier the, to kill than the lizard. It'll take yeah, like a he's second. just a dude. And I'm apparently sorry. he's not going to add Spider-Man onto that list. No. No, because no, that's too expensive. It's too expensive, yeah. Yeah. He could afford it. I'm sorry. It's, it's Stephen Holder. Holder. It's a made-up name for doing things so I'm just whatever but anyway he he just he's like I can't have that I can't I can't right. deal with Holder being you know the beholden <laughs> to his scruples right and so she looks at him like well she looks at him like her face has no expression but right. we, we assume well, she's wearing sunglasses too yeah, so, yeah. But, but thanks to the Uncanny Valley we can just ascribe a, 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 a meaning to her expression but I think yeah after the words come through a couple times you know it's like oh she's she's having misgivings about this. But oh. she says, I expect double my fee. He should be like, oh, that's outrageous. He's not a lizard man. Right, it's, uh, yeah. He's yeah, like what? 30 he's times worth... easier to kill. He... I'm not gonna pay you double. No, I'll pay you like a, like a quarter. Like 50 bucks. So while Holder and Connors are like clearly hashing out the details of their lawsuit, like, I don't know, they're talking. Yeah. They like ditched Billy. Uh, Spider-Man's like, this is the part where I like to get involved. So he becomes Peter Parker and he shows up because <sighs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know a bit at this point I assume that Connors knows that Spider-Man and Peter Parker are the same person, but if they don't, it doesn't matter. It, no one knows what the hell's going on in this book. <laughs> so Peter's like there, and he goes, hey, man, like I heard about Martha and Billy, and I want to be here to help out, you know, if I can do anything. And that's when the doctor shows up and says that Martha died on the operating table. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Yep. In canon, Martha Connors dead. Boom. In this stupid in fucking this dumb book with story snake lady. with Snake Lady. Damn it. Yup. But don't worry, she'll be resurrected and turned ah. into a lizard person. Meanwhile, the doctor Naturally. goes, yeah. anyway, want to get your son on the table? <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. All right, next. No, they, I, they, I could be one for two. They, they, they mentioned that they caught it early, and so he's going to be okay. Oh, he's okay. Because it was he was just showing symptoms. I see. So they did radiation or chemo or whatever, and it just took care of it. Exactly. Him. Right. Yeah. Okay. So Connors leaves. He's just like, I need to be alone. He walks out of the building. Uh, the uh, Holder's talking to the doctor about what happened and how it looks, and he, he asks about Billy, because now he and, like, Holder and Billy are friends. Right. So they explain that, like, Billy's fine, like, in two panels, just hand-waving. No, 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 Billy doesn't no, no, have no, cancer. Don't worry about that. So uh, Spider-Man offers to go check on them. Spidey, well, Peter Parker and Holder get in the same elevator to talk. Uh, they go to look for uh, Connors. They find Billy in his, ho in his hospital room. Connors isn't there. They're like, oh, jeez. Like, mm. Where's but Connors? A window then? Open, oh, he's probably the curtains real blowing bad. in the wind. No, he walked out the front door <laughs> earlier. But uh, so Connors goes to the Manano building. He gets into the elevator. Who's in the elevator with him? But Yith. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Did we meet before? I wasn't. She's like, that's okay. You weren't yourself. No. <laughs> so uh, the two of them get off the elevator. They arrive at uh, outside Arliss's office. And she's like, oh, are you here to see Arliss? And he's like, uh, I don't really know. And she goes, oh, well, let me show you. And she leads him to Arliss's <laughs> office. And he's like, listen, like you've been very helpful, but like you should get out of here. Things are about to get ugly. And so and she lifts up her dress. You mean like this? Ah! 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 You want to choke me a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> so he becomes a lizard. He blasts into Arliss's office. Arliss makes a joke. He's like, damn it, I just had this office redone. Oh. So uh, you're gonna die, man. Right? Yeah, you're but think of the cleaning bill. <laughs> Wait, I don't have to pay it. I'm dead. But the shareholders. <laughs> <laughs> So Spider-Man <laughs> blasts in as Lizard's about to kill Arliss. Spider-Man and <sighs> you, Lizard fight. One time you could have been a little late. <laughs> Don't worry. So 
Uh, Lizard's freaking out. Spider-Man's fighting him. He's just like, come on, Doc, you gotta change back to yourself. It's gonna be okay. Uh, and no, just let me kill him. Just let me fucking kill him. I'll never stop. Yeah, he's Arl untouchable. He's untouchable. Arliss runs to Yith. He's like, do something. Use at least one of the two Uzis you have, or your your awesome, sexy, I mean, uh, powerful tail. <laughs> and she's like, not yet, not yet, like, not, not yet. yet. We're waiting. For Let's this. see how this goes. Yeah. So the two of them fight, and you know, Spider-Man's like, come on, man. Like, think of your son. And he's just like, if it was oh, your, yeah. well, he's like, if he's your woman, you wouldn't be able to control yourself either. He says this through broken English, which I will not. Replicate. It is cringe-inducing. So they fight, and he just says, like, your your son lost his mother today. Like, don't make him lose you too. Mm. And so that's enough to calm him down. And while he's being calm, Arliss is yelling at Yith, like, for God's sake, he's turning into a regular person. Shoot him now. And she goes, not yet. Not yet. Spider-Man, like, holds him there. You know, they're, they're just cradling each other. Yeah. Arliss yells at Yith. He's like, no, what are you waiting for? And she just shoots him in the face. Oh my God. She goes, did you know I've never been in love? And he's like, what? <laughs> How is this relevant? What is that? And she goes, what? If you don't get it, you never will. And she shoots him in the face. Spider-Man notices the gunshot, looks at her. She drops one of the two Uzis and then just slithers out the door. And that's the whole book! What? And there's no payoff! Except for the fact that Martha is <laughs> in canon, not dead, not, not alive anymore! It just, the book just hits the fucking brakes! This is so weird! That's so bizarre! What, what the absolute hell?! Is she in love with Spider-Man? Yeah! But then why does she walk away? Because she knows that it can never be! I'm oh. a snake, you're a spider! She doesn't know about Ben's whole fetish about spiders <laughs> and snakes! Or he's just too good! Yeah, he's too good! He'll never want someone like me! Now I'm a killer! Because I murderer. just murdered a man! Yeah! Yeah, but, but if you hadn't, maybe you would, but I guess maybe she knows he's married. No, she wouldn't know that. She he wouldn't, wouldn't have know told that? Her. No! No, but he doesn't, you know what it is? He didn't then immediately why did she, flirt with her. I, no, I, I don't know what it is, but it's just. Why does she kill Arliss because of her love for Spider-Man? It's the right thing to do. But he's he a bad guy. Have, but he wouldn't have wanted her to do that. No, because she knows he wouldn't have wanted her to do that, so she's doing the thing that he won't do. But okay. it'll help okay. him it'll if help she him does it, so she'll then, do the thing he can't do. What if do? she's yeah. in love with Lizard? But she knows that Lizard is heartbroken over the death of his so wife. He'll never oh, be with me. Never be. He's a lizard. I'm a half snake woman. Yeah. That's we right. could have worked. Yeah. We're both cold-blooded. That's true. That makes sense, except she didn't show any interest in Lizard. No, and she, she didn't. did specifically show she interest in Spider-Man. She was choking him out. That's her signature move. Plus, he's a man. Like, he'll turn into a man and then need to raise a son. Oh, God. Quality of life. This last panel is so horrible. It's horrible. It's it encapsulates everything that sucks about this book. Yes, like the, the bad font choice, yes. the, the textlessness, the horrible rendered backgrounds, <laughs> foregrounds, and character work. The fact that it's so realistic, you actually see some kind of like folds in Connor's <laughs> tummy indicating that he's like totally naked and it's yep. just like, no! And he's like clutching Spider-Man. You see a little bit of his face. Right, it's just... But they both look fake because it's fake. Because it's really but it's fake. it's like touching moment, this vulnerable <laughs> it's moment. It's ruined. It's just destroyed by, the, by art. the art. It's horrible. It's, it's like comical. You can only laugh, but it's like not supposed to be funny. Yeah. It's also bizarre that Spider-Man, I guess, didn't let Arliss die. Yeah. But probably no. still feels guilty that Arliss is yeah, dead. Yeah, he doesn't right. go like, no, or anything. No. He's just like, huh. Hmm. He's just like, well... I guess this is okay. I hate to see you go, but I'd love to watch you leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has no comment. He stares blankly at her. Now, he's behind a mask, so you can't tell what his expression is like. Right, but, but, no, but he doesn't but, say By the anything. nature of this art, even if he had no mask, <laughs> he would still he be staring blankly. I have no idea what his emotions were. <laughs> the, the fact that there is an ad for Marvel at the end of this book is just like, Mwah. That's <laughs> what this is. But something worse than quality of life is Marvel. And I don't think we'll ever talk about it because we did Yay. trouble. That's enough. Marvel <laughs> yep. is. Is it like a similar thing? No. Oh. No, it. No. No. <laughs> there you have it. The ugliest Spider Man comic I've ever seen. But, uh, you know, I understand why. You know, it's not. It's not fair, you know, I'm saying it for clicks, but it's not, it's not fair to say, you know, it's like, is it the ugliest Spider-Man comic I've ever seen? Yes. I is it horrible looking by today's standards? Absolutely. Was it jarring and uncomfortable to see even in 2002? 
100%. Is the uh, story something you would never want to read? Yes, but <laughs> it exists. But it is a thing it's that a, happened. That happened, and you know what? Like, and you can't fault them for trying something, and Sava got his wish. Yep. He got to draw Spider-Man in a published comic book that got matters. Draw Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, you can't ignore it. Like, if you want to read all of Spider-Man, you have to read have This is in there. Life. This is going to be in there. Yeah, or if you read, like, some random issue of Marvel Knights, Spider-Man, you'll see Yith in the background and go, is that a fucking snake woman? I want to know more about that. Here you go, You're like, Sonny. no, you don't. <laughs> I also really like the cover of the first issue. Like, I think that if these were, if these were the the only thing that it looked like, like if they just did the covers and the inside was normal was, art, was drawn by somebody else, like a traditional comic book artist, or if Sabe painted it, yeah. it would have been way more accepted. You know, people would have been like, "What's up with the covers?" Except people wouldn't have been like that. They would have been like, "Well, you know why the covers are like that? Because like it was 2002." Yep. And the fact is, thing. they were like, we need to get this thing out because the movie's coming out. And you don't understand how many thousands upon thousands of people are going to run from the theater to the comic book store and buy this. And if they did, can you imagine? Can you imagine <laughs> if they were no. like, I need Spider-Man. Yeah, Pick I just saw the movie. This is Spider-Man. This looks just like it. Oh, no. What Where's, the fuck is this what shit? What the fuck am I even Where's looking at? the Goblin? What happened to Mary Jane? What's all this thing about the lizards? Why yeah, is Mary that a Jane's cancer? Yeah, yeah. like it, 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 you're, if you're not turned off by the art, you will be by the story. So there's <laughs> nothing that works for this. Now, is it cogent? Yeah, like it, the story yeah. works. It is one of, if it, it has to be the simplest Spider-Man story I've ever read. Yeah, it's really simple. It's really tight. Yeah. Like, there's no it extraneous. It is the most, and it's also incredibly decompressed mm -hmm. because it, because it's four fucking issues. The other crazy thing is how much it jumps around. Yeah. For it's, no reason. It's so short, and yet you still have this back and forth of like going to the bugle and going back to Dr. Connors. Yeah. No, he didn't need to go to the bugle at all. No. He just needed to go to Connors. That's it. Oh, well, you gotta get Jameson in there. I wanna see Why? what Jameson looks like. But Jameson's Why? barely in we the movie right now. Jane. And May, we don't see Mary That's Jane. True. That, no. and that is a crime. It is. The only thing that would make no. this book yeah, oh, more complete is more would be women to, show, in this book to see what the hell they look like. I wanna like. see what this person, this artist would do, Sava would do with Mary Jane. Or Aunt CG. May. Or Aunt May. I wanna see what an old person looks like. Yeah, well, we got. Uh, I guess that's not an old person. Well, well we really don't have old people. No Yurik, old. right? He's kind of old. Yes, actually, that's true. Oh, yeah, Yurik's a little bit old. Looking at Yurik is like, oh, okay, that, that's what Ant-Man would look like. Yeah. Big time. Just a few more lines in the design. Yeah. No, that's the thing is that, like, we can't, we, we can't just credit Sava for this because there were other artists who worked on this to get things going, like right. the character designer, Tracy Mark Lee, the environmental modeler, Antero Pedras. Character modeling was done by Marcelo Bortolino and environmental modeling by Adrian Hartree. Plus the character rigging, which is to say the puppeteering of the characters <laughs> from Scott Hyman. Yeah, a lot, a lot of Yeesh. work went into this turd sandwich. <laughs> Look at this. I thought this was an advertisement for a Call of Duty game. Yeah. Because it uses the Call of Duty font. Nope. No, it's the Call of Duty book? Yes. By Marvel? Yes. Who ripped off who here? Because that is 100% the Call of Duty font. I think there's a Call of Duty ad in this, but maybe it could be. No, look, it is the Call of Duty Brotherhood from yeah. Marvel Comics. Right? Spider-Man Quality of Life, I don't think this is collected anywhere. Oh, no. There's no trade to be had. Is it? Well, it's not part of anything, right? Is no, it this part is of it. a it's, run? It, it is just one through But there's no numbers it on is, it. Yeah, no, there are. Well, no, it's part of one of four, but yeah. it's not part of, like, Yeah, like, what was the number? Like, uh, not no, Amazing Spider-Man. No, this is, this is Spider-Man Quality of Life, numbers one through four. Like, but it would get its own trade paperback, because every story gets a trade, except for this. <laughs> because the less said about it, the better. Right. And we just spent an hour talking about it. So it's still in continuity, but it wasn't part of the main Spider-Man No, it wasn't in Spectacular no. or Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Or Web of. Web of was already canceled by that point. But, uh, yeah, so good luck finding it. But uh, if you do, you'll own a piece of history for probably a dollar. Yeah, you'll own, you'll own it. a piece of history. An ugly piece of history. Yes. Yeah. It, but a relic that represents the culmination of at least one man's dream to draw Spider-Man 
And, and one man's resignation <laughs> to write it. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, good on you, Sava, for getting to accomplish that dream. I, I think that I wouldn't be able to see the forest for the trees if I was given an opportunity to like mm. do that, you know? And they were like, oh, by the way, this. Oh, by the way, oh, we well, have to change this. Oh, we have to change this. Like, yeah, at, some, at a certain point, you are only doing it to accomplish the dream and not to tell your yeah. best story. Yeah. So, you know. Sal, are you gonna have snake women choking out people in, in your Lizard Spider-Man Men in my Spider-Man book? Again, like I have, a, I have a, I have a running list of characters that I promise I will use were I given the opportunity. Yith is not one of them. Yith, I think I should definitely bring back Yith. I think that if <laughs> Yith were drawn in like startling realism or at the very least really cool style, uh, we'd get a few extra fans, <laughs> you know, from different corners of the internet. I'd be very excited. To, I think I think Yith is due a reintroduction. Let's put it that way. Okay. No, I have, I actually do have a pitch that would involve a Yith that. pitch. Yeah. It, well, Yith would be part of the, of, oh. she's inadvertently part of the pitch. Okay. That's weird. I agree. So, Spider-Man Quality of Life, thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and we'll see you guys next time with another episode. See what I mean? We're, we're just, here you go. It have this, to, it's not death metal, but it's, you know un what? Unpredictable shit you can get on. On back issues, you <laughs> never know. And you're not going to find this anywhere else. That's true. Well, uh, there, there are a couple videos out there that talk about it, but sure, not, like, no, 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 not, no. not like this. You're not going to find this anywhere else. Anywhere else. Anywhere else. All right, fine, Exclusively yeah. at Comic-Con. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You know. Because we're gonna go after them, we're gonna give them all cancer. What? No. Ben learned a thing or two from Barnabas. Yeah. Yeah. And not the HBO show. <laughs>